on the bus. Right. Uh, make new plans, Dan. No need to be coy, Roy. Just to... So, uh, Susan, I would say don't get on the bus because exactly you are right. You, what's your perfect day? Yeah, I'd say mid so upper mid 70. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be like close to that. I would say 80 degrees with bright sunshine. She's she's right on it. The only the only fly in the ointment maybe a little moisture, a little more humidity that arrives late in the day. But boy, near perfect today. A live look from our Kenosha Tower Camp showing quiet conditions, bright blue skies outside. Topping your weather headlines, we've got a warm Wednesday on tap, and more muggy conditions arrive in time for tomorrow. It's going to be a big return to summer, at least a one day big return to summer tomorrow as we get toastier as well. Outside right now, well, a variety of readings across the area. Uh, still in the 60s in Milwaukee and Racine, low 60s at that, but 54 degrees in Waukesha and Whitewater, 53 in Lake Geneva. It's double nickels from West Bend to Port. And hey, Fondy, you're hanging out at 60 degrees in your neck of the woods. A cooler 50 degrees up in International Falls, but boy, you notice that there's some moderation to those temperatures as well. I promised you that a cold air would retreat over the last couple of days because we were seeing the really nasty chill to the air up to our northwest. Instead, the warm weather is coming at us from the south and just shoving that cooler air mass up to the north in Canada. This is a much less stable atmosphere down to our southwest, and it's going to be working its way in our direction as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. Satellite radar combination showing an abundance of clear skies around here with high pressure in place. A little disturbance off to our west, southwestern Minnesota shouldn't amount to a hill of beans. But it's down to the southwest that we're going to have to keep our eyes focused on because you can see this warm front lifts in our direction. Going to trigger showers and storms, mainly, I think, to our north tonight, though we could see some activity on the periphery of that as we go toward tomorrow morning. The cold front that follows through tomorrow night and into Friday could be more substantial. Your storm team forecast for today, sunny, seasonally warm, up to near 80 degrees, a great one tonight. Down to 67. Now, the evening, not a problem at all. Kids get home from school, you're outside grilling out just fine. As we go through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning, showers and storms develop. In fact, early showers and storms linger tomorrow. Some heavy downpours a possibility early, otherwise decreasing clouds, windy, warm and humid up to near 84. And tomorrow night, a repeat performance of tonight, increasing clouds and warm with showers and storms arriving late toward Friday morning. Here comes your storm team, 10 day outlook and for Friday morning, some lingering precipitation in the picture. Uh, Thursday night into Friday, some of those storms could be strong to borderline severe, but then Saturday and Sunday look marvelously, Samana. Just in time for the weekend. How about it? Nice work there, Steele. I like it.